In this video, we're looking at Ouch, an obvious unified compression helper. And you install it by PKG install Ouch. Ouch is designed, I love that name, Ouch. Ouch is designed really to make compressing and decompressing archives a lot easier so you don't have to remember all the various sub commands etc. Its usage is fairly straightforward. Uh, you've got compress, decompress, list and help and help being uh, really what you're seeing although in a bit more depth. Uh, you've got some command switches. You've got yes, no, accessible, hidden, quiet, git ignore, help and version. Some of the supported formats uh, for compression and decompression. Um, it's got tar, zip, gz, XZ, LZMA, BZ, BZ2, LZ4, SZ, and ZST. And you can also chain the various types together. <laughs> like the bottom one there, which is uh, .tar, .gz, 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 oh, good grief. But yeah, so it's quite, uh, it's quite flexible in its approach. Right, let's just clear that screen. And I'm in a folder with uh, some zip and a tar dot gz file and you can list what's in a archive by ouch list and let me put the name of that there a zip file and it will let you have a look without decompressing what's in it which is fairly useful and to decompress you put ouch decompress then you put the file name and the archive label name at the end if you don't want to write out uh, decompress, you can just put D and we'll put the GZ file there, but I'll paste it in. But you don't have to do one at a time, you can do multiple files of different types. So we've decompressed both, I'll just clear the screen and we'll list it out and there we are. You've got two compressed file types in their own little folders, which is pretty neat. So. I'll just list out uh, XRAW and list out the Xerox drivers. And of course you've got sub uh, folders. So yeah, it's very good. I like that, really flexible. So what about compression? Let's clear the screen. Now I've replaced some files in this test folder and if we list them out, we got rid of the ones that were already there. And now we've got a doc, a PDF, and a PNG. So if you want to compress it, it's ouch compress. Then you put your file or multiple files, uh, your file name plus your archive label. So I'm just going to copy all the names of these and put them in. Different types again. And we're going to call it test.zip. And that's it. So we'll list it. And there's the new zip file. And if you want to check it, of course, for ouch list or ouch L, and then we just type it in, and there they are. So to me, this is, I, I like this. I like this a lot. Because sometimes, you know, you get different file formats. You think, crikey, I don't, I can't remember. You have to look it up. With this, it'll do it for you. So if you want to compress a doc file and a PDF, and we're going to call it test.tar this time. And there we go. So we've got a test.zip and a test.tar. So it's a very flexible program. I actually, I like it quite a lot. And again, here's the basic help, uh, the quick help really, if you want a quick summary of the commands. And if you want a little bit more, you can put uh, double hyphen help. I'm just gonna pipe it into less so it doesn't scroll down the screen too fast. And it goes into a bit more detail about what each of the switches and commands do. Very good indeed, I like it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.